Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of Michael, the archangel God, is the one who is like unto God. Nope, not soul, the goddess. Uh, stop worshiping gods and goddesses. All right, topic of the message. Ah, tonight, 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 tonight. Oh, okay. Um, yes, it's the last blood moon. Ah, it, you know, the thing is the last blood moon. And, you know, I just want to let y'all know it's, an ex it's supposed to be an exciting time. You know what I'm saying? For those that are of the light, that it's a exciting time. And, I, you know, it's, it's not, but there is going to be some uh, doom and gloom for the kingdom of darkness. And, and I'm trying to say not concerning people of darkness, but those that, you know, that continually want the darkness to continue happening in the world. Uh, you're going to be very uncomfortable concerning that pretty much this is, will be the year, day of the Lord. Yeah, now, the day of the Lord has been prophesied all throughout the Bible. I mean, the thing is, what you got to understand about the day of the Lord is, you know, if you study Deuteronomy and Leviticus, you will understand that we, you know, if we play, by, more likely if we play by the rules, you know, it would be a wonderful time in the earth. But unfortunately, people are not playing by the rules that God has established but it's now it's time for the Father to bring correction to those that did not play by the rules. And like I said, it's going to be a divine judgment. And the divine judgment that I did in the video is talking about leadership and headship and kings, you know, the whoever's over the country. Mainly, it's going to be that judgment towards them. And the thing is, it's, a, it's about the head, you know, down, you know. And the thing is, it has to be done now. It's God's turn to okay. I gave you. I, I gave you a legitimate shot to you know uh, do, follow my word and follow this, but you didn't do it. So I have to. The Father really has to correct those. You know what I'm saying? Those mainly of leadership and mainly leadership of the country and leadership of the church. Yes. God has to correct those because the thing is, the whole ideal I try, try to say is that God, you know, created us is to give, you know, us a choice. We're free will spiritual beings that has a choice to choose whether we want to be about, you know, light or darkness, you know. And the thing is, this is about, you know, God gave us a shot and now here comes daddy, you know, finna send in, you know, his, uh, more likely, uh, you know, cause this thing is, I would like to use judgment, but people take judgment <laughs> like, you know, um, you're going to destroy us. No, it's really judgment is about correction. You know, <clears throat> it's a correction, you know, first it's, it's a correction that will lead to those that come against God, destruction. I mean, that's what it is. It's go do this, and you didn't do it. Those, you know, will may end up destroyed. May may not. But thing is, this is a uh, this is going to be a time period that darkness will be destroyed. The kingdom of darkness, a spiritual darkness, will be destroyed, and that's what really if you study the judgment of, you know, the time that the prophets and everybody else talk about the day of the Lord, uh, that darkness will be judged. And it's going to get real ugly, ugly for them. But those that like what Paul says of the children of the light, you know, it's going to be a wonderful time. It's going to be the greatest time pretty much in human history. Um, it's going to be the wonderful time. It's going to be a great time for everybody, really, that people need to really understand. It's just Satan just don't want y'all to have a wonderful time. He wants your life to be miserable. But that's what it's really all about, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the Shemitah is all about. Shemitah is all about that, you know, God 
you know, warning his people, you know, look, you need to get your act together about what y'all doing. You're not doing correctly. On the seventh year, you're supposed to forgive all debt, erase all debt. You didn't do that. Now it's time for me, me to punish you. I mean, well, you didn't do it. Now it's time for me to punish me because I kept telling, I, well, I kept telling people it doesn't make no sense that uh, a United States or any system, well, if they're of the God of Israel and they made a covenant of the God of Israel to be in debt, there's no such thing really as a debt, you know, because uh, in the seven years, you're supposed to wipe slate clean because first of all, technically, you like you need to understand what Paul, uh, uh, King David says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You don't got no earth, you know what I'm saying? You you don't have no earth and you really don't have no money. You know, everybody, this money is a trip, man. The system and how it's done and, you know, where, you know, people think that they have these possessions, you know, um, based upon uh, paper, you know, this paper, you know, it says that you have this and you're this great person and great that. Well, Babylon, going to get destroyed very soon. Thing is, people don't understand or, you know, Bible prophecy, but I'm trying to help you out, that God is going to get vengeance as it says in uh, Isaiah uh, 61. It's vengeance. It's a point in time that God is going to wreck shop, as those that know what that means. Uh, clean up, really. It's going to, it's a clean up. And those that are in power of darkness, it's going to be an unpleasant time for you because that's what he's coming to clean up. He can clean up everything. And thing is, it's going to be a wonderful time. So it's, and no, it's not going to be the rapture. No, it's not going to be the rapture because the end appointed time of the day of the Lord that is supposed, and I keep, you know, church, giving people the scripture of 1 Corinthians 15 and 23, that God, I mean, that Jesus is going to get things in order, you know, be, before his coming of the, I mean, before the coming of the Lord, order has to be established, you know what I'm saying, on earth, that is in 1 Corinthians 15 and 23, you know what I'm saying, that the kingdom of God is supposed to come down and get things in order. And the way he wanted to give, say, this is how I wanted it, to do it like this, humanity, but you did it like that, pretty much is really going to happen. So, I mean, this is going to be a great and exciting time. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, darkness is going to be defeated as what it's supposed to be defeated. Um, and a lot of correction to a lot of people, because mainly the church that's in Peter, First Peter four and seventeen, and and of course uh, darkness and you know the kings of the earth and yeah all that kind of stuff that you know mistreating God's people and God's creation is that kind of idea. You know, you don't mistreat his creation. It's his. But when you have a system uh, created to get people to believe that God doesn't exist and and operating all this corruption leads to destruction. Corruption will always lead to destruction. I mean, when it comes to God, because God is, uh, is about things clean, things holy, things holy and acceptable unto him. And I'm telling people that the acceptable day of the Lord is going to pretty much start pretty much very soon. Now, watch this. Now, the blood moon is tonight. Now, the thing is, but the, uh, and Sukkot is, of course, uh, to, starts tonight. And Sukkot is about, uh, of course, the Feast of Tabernacles. It's talk about really... God over is really is talking about God over everything. <laughs> you know, you know, we hear people say God over everything. It's God over everything. God take care. God 
they build up. God is over and taking care of his people, you know, mainly. It's the it's a celebration of God's and how he took care of his. He took care of the children of Israel. He took care of the church. He took care of his. How, how God has been the Jehovah Jireh, the provider and everything. How Jireh, the Jehovah's all of the Nisi and the, all of them. Um, how God is God, pretty much, is what Sukkot is all about. And what great time to establish the year of the Lord on Sukkot, talking about how the uh, God's, you know, God over everything, because that's what it's going to really be about in Sukkot, uh, God over everything, and how he take care of his people. And that's what the Jews celebrate. But in this blood moon that is on a super moon, uh, that... They said that that it's the uh, first time in a long time that a, a blood super moon, you know, so not a blood moon, but a blood super moon when the when the moon moves closest to the earth, you know, uh, then you know, then anything that a blood moon is on it, or a lunar eclipse, you know, uh, that is happening. Uh, they say the next one is going to be far, far away. <laughs> long, long, long time. I think, I think hundred or ten, hundreds of years or something. The next uh, super blood moon, you know, that kind of rare alignment to happen, you know. And that's how God makes his signs that are rare. So you will understand that his, it's his time to shop. I mean, that's what it's going to be about but you know I God told me that it was coming and more likely I did uh, videos and said it's called God season God season you know what I'm saying get ready for God season he he gave you you know uh, four three blood moons to let you know let everybody know my season is coming this the last one let you know it's gonna happen you know what I'm saying it's just whenever it happens, but understand that now, now here's the thing that if nothing doesn't happen tomorrow, it will pretty much happen uh, before, I mean, uh, at maybe on Monday night, Monday to, uh, uh, Monday to um, Tuesday, because God, because it's the 15th of Tesharia, I think, Tesharia, I think I'm saying it right. 15th, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it may happen, you know, uh, the follow the Monday, tomorrow, Monday, you know, tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Yeah. It may, what, it may whatever going to happen may happen tomorrow night and it may happen tonight. So understand that, you know, the blood will happen and nothing doesn't happen. Um, It's going to happen because it, it proceeds the 15th, you know what I'm saying, of Tesheria. You know, and, and and God, when God says about his days, like we say, like we're going to do something Monday. Uh, we do it, Mo it start Monday morning. But when God said he's going to do something on a certain particular day, his day is like fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? He has to fulfill the day and then the following day proceeds, you know, the event. You know, that's how God does things sometimes. But in this, you know, uh, blood moon, I don't know how he's going to do it. But I know eventually the year of the Lord is going to uh, establish itself just like that. Because that's how he does it in his order. So get ready for a wonderful time, y'all. It's going to be a wonderful time for a lot of people. But those that, you know, a leadership of darkness, y'all going to have a miserable time life <laughs> because God has been established his things the way he wanted to the way he see fit according to his work so that's how it works hope you enjoy it and get ready for something quite great greater than you ever seen before 
Ears have never heard, eyes have never seen, neither did enter the hearts of men the things that God prepared for those that love him. I hope you be those people that enjoy it. To God be the glory, him forever and ever, in Jesus' name, amen.